In the next few minutes, I'm going to share some easy to implement but very powerful tips that may help you. Let's start by talking client management. Most of us run a monthly client review list, you know, people that we haven't seen in a while, to see if we should have a periodic review meeting. For me, this monthly list is typically 30 to 45 clients long. Now, the big mistake that we used to make was simply scheduling them for a review meeting simply because they appeared on the list. Now what we do is we review the list and determine based on the notes and previous activities whether we think a meeting is actually necessary or not. A quick and easy process that has yielded fantastic results. Allow me to explain. If we don't think a meeting is necessary, we send a checking in email note that says, greetings, I had your file out and is reviewing uh, my notes since our last meeting and I want to check in with you to let you know that I have no emergent planning issues on my end at this time and I simply wanted to check in to see if you had any emergent planning issues on your end at this time. If not, we've already set an alert in our system to check back in with you in the summer months. Of course, if you do have any emergent issues, please let us know and we will schedule you in right away. In the meantime, if something happens on our end and we need you, we will contact you and the same for you. Thanks and regards, Greg. We like to use a season versus a set time because it gives us a wider range to reconnect. Now, I will say that this note has not only been well received by our clients, but it has actually cut the amount of unnecessary meetings down by about two thirds while not sacrificing service. Our clients are busy and they appreciate the fact that we check in with them without simply scheduling a meeting. Now, sometimes they'll ask for a meeting, but more often than not, they simply send a note back saying, thank you for checking in. The people on the list who we think we should have a meeting with are scheduled. And we have found that these meetings or are more meaningful and quite productive. You know, speaking of email notes and checking in, let's talk for a minute about proper email communication protocol. You know, managing uh, uh, um, email communications incorrectly is a huge mistake. In fact, many of us advisors are, are guilty of, well, checking our emails right now. Yeah. And uh, what happens by doing that is uh, we actually start setting the stage and it's a mistake because we're training our clients and prospects to believe that we will reply to them as soon as they reply to us. And I call this ping pong. The faster you send the email, the faster we send the reply. You know, and it becomes a game of how fast can we reply to their reply. And this can actually lead to some serious stress and inbox overload. To alleviate the situation and better manage our time and our client expectations, consider placing your email on auto-respond any day that you have several client meetings or a project that you need to be working on. In my case, I do this for two reasons. Number one, it lets our prospects and clients know that we're busy, and that's a good thing. And more importantly, it gives me permission to not respond right away. Now this email simply says, greetings, thanks for your email. Due to my schedule, I will be reviewing and answering emails between 2 and 3 p.m. today and again at 4.30 to 5. If this matter is urgent, please contact the office directly. Thanks and regards, Greg. Using auto response has really helped me to be more focused and I'm doing a better job when I'm with my clients and prospects and it is also preventing me from answering an email without getting all of the pertinent facts. And in addition, it's helped train my clients to, to understand that I might not respond right away, but when I do, I will, I will respond with a well thought out response. So what's our strategy for uh, you know, family time and having quality family time? We all work really hard, half days, 12 hours at a time, right? We all work so hard. We used to schedule our client meetings and our prospect meetings with a complete disregard for my family schedule. 
Handling the schedule this way was, shall we say, not good for my wife and kids. You know, think about it. After a long, hard day at work, we show up tired, drained. In my case, my family would get what was left of me after a hard work day, what I refer to as the leftovers. You know what I mean when you come through the door dead tired at the end of the day. So I made a much needed change. I took out my schedule and I looked at for the year my kids' school calendar. And I made a decision that I would start by inserting all of the days they had off as days that I would be out of the office. You can do this too. Schedule your clients and your prospects around your family time. Sounds so easy, yet it's so effective. In the end, protecting our family is the most important part of our schedule anyway. And by magic, when you do this, your client and prospect meetings will fit right around your family just fine. What's the result? Better family time and a much improved work-life balance. And finally, but just as important, if you have a significant other, please, please remember to X a night off each night of the week or once a week for a date with your significant other so that your significant other doesn't become your ex. And I will say that it's difficult to have serious and intimate conversations with your spouse around the dinner table with all the kids listening in, right? So there you have it. It's not rocket, scientists, uh, rocket science. It's important and effective. And after all, it's about the time. And we need to make sure we manage it. And we need to protect it so that in the end, we, like the clients we serve, can enjoy it. Thank you.